Hey, 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 hey. It's the... John and... Heather Show. And we are coming to you live from... BT's Tavern. This is a wonderful place. we got a wonderful band going on. And a band's name that's here is Through the Wall. Also, we have the owner of this great place. And his name is Buzz. And he's going to tell you all about it. That's right. I've got the one, the only Glenn Buzz here. And he has started this from scratch, I believe, the 22nd, two days ago, uh, was, or a day yeah. ago, was the anniversary. Mm -hmm. Yes. It two was. years. This is the two year anniversary of this pub. Uh, we opened up November 21st, actually, but that was a half day. The 22nd was our first full day of operation, a mm -hmm. soft opening. Uh, two years under our belt wow that must have been very very hard to get it up and running liquor license everything start all over again and you were a firefighter yes i did 23 and a half years uh, service in pasco county as a firefighter Thank captain you paramedic thank you are welcome you're welcome uh and, and it was it was a mountain of work and effort that went into opening this place and uh, very little on my part, more on my team's part. Everybody that helped out, friends, family, mm -hmm. anywhere I could beg, borrow, or ask a favor, <laughs> everybody came out and helped. And from a weed-filled backyard to this beautiful it's courtyard wonderful. venue that it we have wonderful. now, so it's we're very, all very, very proud of what we've accomplished here. Yes. And, I remember how you were at getting teams together and people together. You could get literally a bunch of Eskimos around an igloo to build it. Yes. Around a I, do, uh, I do have some kind of charisma for that, specifically gathering a team and running mm -hmm. it. Uh, that's what I enjoy doing. I've done it in the Marine Corps and the fire yeah. service. Um, lots of experience running organizations and teams and stuff like that. So. You've done a great job. I mean, just to go back to the paramedic and firefighter and all that, I know what it is because my dad was a lieutenant in a rescue, and it is tremendous work you do. Well, you're, you're very welcome. Uh, it was was pride of my life, really, uh, doing that. It was a calling. It wasn't. I didn't do it because I wanted a job. I did it because you're I was called right. to it. I loved being a firefighter paramedic. Uh, mm -hmm. At a certain point, you do become uh, uh, worn down from it, your back and your knees and everything else, because it does take a toll on yeah. you, your, even your heart as well. <laughs> yeah, especially so, breathing in all those fumes. And everything. You do. It's it's a constant battle against you, against the, the elements, the fire, the, the carcinogens, and then all the sick patients as well, yeah. trying not to catch anything that you're dealing with. Yes. Um, but it was awesome. It was definitely something I'm very proud of and loved doing. Would do it all over again. Yeah, you know? but. I'm also happily retired at this point. I and bet you are. I know one thing. I never knew I was going to work so hard in retirement. There you go. <laughs> that was just going to say, fun. you retired and you jumped right into one of the hardest jobs ever. Because mm -hmm. having a venue and the overhead and keeping it afloat is one of the hardest things that I have ever known. I grew Truly. up in this field, so I know all you about it. You are not it. wrong. You are not wrong one little bit. Um, it has cost a quite a penny uh, to keep this going and get it running and uh, uh, we're doing real good uh, our customer base is awesome our regulars are awesome that come in here and they keep the doors open you know and I couldn't be happier to have them too they're all super cool people they're like family to me now and uh, we all work together it's not uncommon to see one of them grab a broom or a mop or a freaking set of pliers if need be and help out That's with great. everything um, it's like the family effort here in a sense you know and uh, I didn't know exactly what I was in store for when I got into it I knew that I loved this world that I'm in, yeah. but I didn't quite know all the little minute details. And uh, now that my eyes are open to them, I still love it's it. A learning experience. I still love it, but it is it is very difficult at times, very stressful. Oh, I bet it was a hell of an eye opener from every different thing um, because you serve food here also. Yes. So you've got, uh, I believe, OSHA involved um yeah that's the uh um, the health department the health yeah, department yeah, yeah. you've got the liquor license you've got yeah. so many different DVPR, things are yeah involved with the liquor license that's, that's right expensive. yeah and we've got a full liquor license here too it's not just beer and wine we sell full liquor and a package license as well so good to know everybody good and to food. know full liquor full liquor, full liquor yeah. and he has great yeah. food too we do we have a as i don't personally do great the food. great food yes yeah. great food that's not i'm not the cook i'm not the guy doing the food it's under a different uh get her done dogs okay. um a good friend of mine runs the food cart that, that does it but they're here every day, seven days a week, and it is, like you said, really good food. Yes. Chicken wings to sausages to brats and I'm hamburgers, hungry. cheeseburgers. I'm before. hungry already. Oh, I can smell it smoking from here. I'm hangry. 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 <laughs> hangry. <laughs> 
Anyways, if you could say anything about doing this and you had any bit of advice for someone that wanted to do this, what would your advice be to them? Well, first thing I would say is if you like sleep, don't do this because <laughs> you are not going to get any. Um, and otherwise, it's it's a job for a people person, someone that likes the social experiment that is life, you know. And I, and if you like to drink a lot, also don't do this because yeah. it'd be like a diabetic owning a candy store. <laughs> Bad idea, you know. Exactly. So um, you know, it's uh, I don't know how I go without the sleep that I go without, but I manage. And it's at times like I said, exhausting, but rewarding in the sense that you get to in, be involved in all kinds of different avenues of different people's lives and stuff. And it's, it's really cool in that aspect, yeah. you know. Well, um, that's fantastic. Yeah, I think so, too. You've done a phenomenal good. job here, and we are really looking forward to having a great time here with the show. You're having a big premiere event, and we're going to be here and film it, and we are just looking forward to having a great time at your venue. Yeah, these guys that are putting on a show tonight, Through the Wall, you mentioned their name earlier, uh, personal friends with the entire band. That's partially why they're here as their debut. Um, clearly, as you can see from the setup and all that, it's not something that would normally be set up in no. this size of a venue. No. It's something that you'd see up at like Rock Crusher Canyon yes. or, for yeah. heaven's sakes, down at the Ford Amphitheater. It's that Definitely level like of a, a show. Seat venue. Definitely more. not yeah. at a venue such yeah. as this, yeah. and this is so fantastic. Like this is only here. only reason that it's happening here is because of my involvement with mm -hmm. them and, and being the friendship that we have, and how I've helped to build some of the stuff and uh, mostly coaching from the sidelines, but you know, been involved in it. And these guys are all phenomenal musicians, and they've put so much work, so much money, so much effort yeah. into this show that when it kicks off, it was too big to do just one night. So we did it, so we've got it Friday and tomorrow night, Saturday yes. night, so it's two nights. It's the exact same show. It's a mirrored show, uh, okay. both two nights. Um, if you can't make it out tonight, you can come tomorrow night. Um, both nights are supposed to start at 9. I believe there was a misprint mm -hmm. about an 8 p.m. start, okay. but it's a 9 p.m. start, um, and you could tell it's not started yet. But it's the yeah. first night... Um, uh, wrinkles, yes. so to oh, speak. Yeah, yeah. So we're getting a couple of things worked out, and they're real close to being ready to go on, and mm -hmm. uh, we look forward to the start of the show. It's going to be awesome. Good. That's Good. right. You heard that. There are going to be two shows, not just tonight. Come on down if you can tonight, BTs in Brooksville. Come on down and see us, see Buzz, see the John and Heather show, and come on and watch Through the Wall and support your local live music. Then, if you can't make it tonight, you come down tomorrow night and have a rocking good time here with great drinks, great food, great people. You can't miss this. This is an epic event. Epic. I couldn't have said epic. it better myself. Epic mm -hmm. event. That's Very what well. she's speaking right now. Yes. <laughs> and we'd like to say thank you so much for watching us. We love it. This is going to be a fantastic time. We hope to see all of you here. And again, this is the John and Heather Show saying shiny side up. Rubber side down. And we love you all. Like and subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications. Ding, ding. And you will get new videos. That's right. And if you have anything else to say, anybody wants to contact you, a phone number or something you'd yes. like to leave. BT's Pub and Liquor Lounge, Brooksville, Florida. Okay. 15440 Cortez Boulevard. You can reach us at 727-514-1336. If you want to give us a call, get directions. Uh, we're also on Google, Facebook. Any type of social media you can think of, we're there. So look us up. Come on in. Have a cold one. Drink a shot of whiskey. There you go. Meet a new friend. There you Come go. On. That's right. You, can't, you cannot refuse this invitation. Come on down. Come on down and meet us and have a great time. We're going to watch this epic event, and it's going to be live for you on YouTube. And again, this is the John and Heather Show, and we love you all. That's right. Peace Happy out. Tees. Happy tees. <laughs> Happy tees. <laughs> That's right. Come on down and visit us. I expect to see you guys. Come down here. Yes, come down, like and subscribe, and watch the show. Bye. Toodles. Love you all. Deuces.